he that is joined into a harlot is one body now. You've defiled your temple to the point where now you've dropped yourself down to that base and lower state as that other person. You understand that? That is what we cannot have in our community. That's what leads to STDs. That's what leads to teenage um, pregnancy. That's what leads to the high abortion rate in our community. Our people want these, they want to solve these problems, but we don't want the book that has the answers. The book that was written for us. That's right. people in the Christian church or wherever that say that Sabbath is a Sunday or every day is a Sabbath. But the Most High God separated the Sabbath from every other day by the laws that he that we must apply on the Sabbath day. Look at that Exodus 20. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Right, so the Most High God is telling the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans to remember the Sabbath day. I Meaning, consider that this is the Lord's Sabbath. Read. Six days shall thou labor huh? and do all thy work. So, in six days, we're supposed to labor and do all of the work that we need to be done. Read. But the seventh day. The seventh day. The seventh day is what we call today Saturday, which is today. Is what? Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Read. In it thou shalt not do any work. So on that day, which is the Sabbath day, we're not to do any work but the work of the Lord. How you doing, brother? What's your name, man? Huh? All right, peace to you. Slow, brother. So on the Sabbath day, we're not supposed to do any work. Read. Nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy maid servant, nor thy man servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy strangers within thy gate. Guess what? He's telling us that. The people that serve us, our children, or us. We're not supposed to do any work on the Sabbath day. Yes. So guess what? If Sunday was the Sabbath day, the true Sabbath day according to the Bible, for the so-called people that, that fill up the Christian church, why are they not following that law on the Sabbath? If that's your Sabbath day, we can understand it if you're applying the laws that make the Sabbath holy. You understand the Sabbath is a day that's supposed to be separate from any other day. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, uh -huh. from doing thy pleasure on the holy day. Guess what? On the most high God's Sabbath, we're supposed to turn our foot from doing our own pleasure on the most high's holy day. Word. Read. And call the Sabbath a delight. Go ahead. The holy of the Lord. The holy of the Lord. So when the most high Sabbath comes, we don't do our own will. We do what God commands us to do on the Sabbath day, which is the fellowship. Congregate. We don't cook. We don't do any work in our household. We come together, we hear the word of the Lord, and we speak the Lord's words. Right. Honorable. Uh -huh. And shall honor him, not doing thy own ways. Not doing our own ways on the most high God's Sabbath day. Right. So guess what happens on if Sunday was a Sabbath day? Guess what happens after our people leave the church? Bring it on. They go out, they buy and sell. They go and eat a, a, a pork chop dinner at um at any one of these, these buffets. Or right. they go home and cook abominable pork chop. Or they cook bacon. Or they do things against God. Right. Right. You can't mix the laws of God with your own worldly lust. Read. Nor find thine own pleasure. Nor speak thine own words. We're not to speak our own words. Today is the Lord's Sabbath. We've established that. Right. So the words that we must speak on God's Sabbath day are the words coming out of this Bible here. Yes. That's, right. that's what makes the Sabbath holy. Give me another one. Exodus chapter 35 and verse 3. Go ahead. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation upon the Sabbath day. We are not to kindle any fire throughout our habitation. That's going to us cooking on the most high God Sabbath day. Right. You understand? You're telling me that we can't take one day out to not cook, eat hot food on the Sabbath? One day out a week. We can't do that. That's what makes the most high God's days holy. That's what separates it from every other day. Right. Hey, Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. Bring it out. And he said unto them, This that which the Lord had said, Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. It says, Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. What's your name, bro? How you doing, man? What's your name? John. John, you know today is the most I got Sabbath day? You don't know that? 
Let's show you that today. Today, the Most High God ordained one day out of the week to be his Sabbath. Lord, that we keep holy. We don't do our own will on that day. There's a day out of the week where we don't work. We don't go out and go to festivals. We don't do anything that we want to do. We do what God wants us to do on that day. Lord, I'm going to show you something. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. God is telling us to remember the Sabbath day. Always keep the Sabbath day in mind. And to keep that day holy, meaning to separate that day from every other day and perform God's laws on that particular day. I mean, you perform God's laws every day, but God's laws pertaining to his holy day. Three. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Go ahead. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. But I'm going to ask you a question. What day of the week is the seventh day? I treat, I treat Sunday as the seventh day to me. You treat Sunday as the seventh day? Um, the way I operate, yeah. So we know that the seventh day is Saturday. actually the seventh day, right? Yes, sir. Yep. So it says on the seventh day, the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. So the Lord has created laws for the seventh day. But what do most of us do? What, what is Saturday to our people? Party. Saturday is the party day, right? Saturday is the day when you get your you get your paycheck on Friday and you're able to spend that money, right? Let me show you what God says about spending money on the Sabbath day. Yeah, yeah. Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 15. Yeah. In those days saw so I in Judah some treading wine press on the Sabbath. Right, so Nehemiah saw in Judah some treading wine presses on the Sabbath. They was working on the Sabbath day, right? Free. And bringing in sheaves. And bringing in sheaves. And making asses. Uh -huh. As also wine, grapes, and figs, and all men, all burdens. So, so guess what they were doing on the Sabbath? It was like it was opening up a flea market. They brought in all manners of burden. They had figs, all type of good. And, and the flea market open on Saturday? I go there. You go there every Saturday, right? That's what was going on here. Right. Well, let's see how the prophets felt about that. Read. Which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. They brought that thing into the Most High God's holy land. On the Sabbath day. Read. And I testified against them. Nehemiah testified against them though. He rebuked them for doing that. Hey, what are y'all doing out here? You're not supposed to be doing that on the this today is God's Sabbath. Free. In the day when they sold victuals. Because they sold victuals. We're not supposed to buy and sell on the most high's holy day. That's right. Can we take one day out not to spend our money? You know? Not, not in the USA, man. Not in the USA, but but think about it now. You yourself. You take one day out not to spend your money. I'm taking one day out. You're not going to die, right? I'm not going to die. Oh, praise the Lord of our people are going to die if they do not spend their money on one day out of the week. Read. Now you got your Africans at the flea market. Read. Also therein, which brought fish and all manner of wear, uh -huh. and sold on the Sabbath unto the children of Judah. But guess what? You got your Hamites, your Africans, in their little flea markets, in their little booths, Selling to the children of Judah, selling to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people on the Sabbath day. Why? Because they can kill right. us. Right. The Africans right. don't care about us because they are not us. Right. You know? We are not you know? Africans. Right. We may look like them somewhat, but we're not them. We may have the same skin tone somewhat, but we're not Africans. That's why they will break God's Sabbath and want us to break God's Sabbath day. Right. They do it to this day. Read. And in Jerusalem. Uh huh. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah. Well, guess what Nehemiah did? A prophet of the Most High God. He contended with the nobles of Judah, with the leaders of Judah, with the leaders of our people, saying what? And said unto them, What evil thing is this that ye do? What did he say? What evil thing is this that ye do? He said, What evil thing is this that you're doing? You're buying and selling on God's high holy day. The Most High like God considers that evil. Right. Our people need to know that. Yeah. That's why we're out here showing them what the Bible says about how we're conducting ourselves so we can change our ways. You understand? Read. And profane the Sabbath day. And they profane God's holy day, the only day that God gave us. The only day God gave us to separate from everybody else. And we profane that thing because of the lust. Because we can't not buy and sell on that day. Read. Did not your fathers dust? And did not our God bring all this evil upon us? Guess what? God brought all this evil upon us now. What's the state of our people? How you doing, sis? What's the state of our people today? 
Romans 10. Watch this. Let me show you something. Let me show you something about the New Testament. How, how the Most High God sees our people and their knowledge and their understanding of the Most High God. Yeah. Watch this. Romans 10. Romans 10. Verse 1. Romans 10 and verse 1. Go ahead. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel uh -huh. is that they might be saved. Right. So he said, my heart's and prayers and desire is for Israel. That they might be saved. He didn't say everybody be saved. He said for Israel that they might be saved. Guess who's Israel, sis? The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Yes, right. You know that, right? Read on. Read. For, for I bear them record uh -huh. that they have a zeal of God. He said he bear them record that they have a zeal for God. All of our people flock and act like they know God. And we ask the sister, hey, you got a couple minutes to hear the Bible. I already know they have a zeal for God. If she says she already knows, why in the world is she in all this sin? Why is she out here buying and selling on God's Sabbath day? Watch right. this. Read. For I bear the record that they have a zeal of God. They have a zeal of God, but what? But not according to knowledge. But not according to knowledge. Read. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness. Because our people do not know God's righteousness. They walk around saying, I know God. But they're ignorant towards God's righteousness. What is God's righteousness? Let's see if we're ignorant towards God's righteousness. What is his righteousness? How you doing, brother? What is the righteousness of God? Oh, I, that's a beautiful union. What's God's righteousness? Love. Okay. What is God's righteousness? Love. How you doing, brother? What is God's righteousness? You don't know, right? Being ignorant of God's righteousness. Some people are ignorant of God's righteousness. Let's be on. And going about to establish their own righteousness. Our people go about to establish their own righteousness. We're going to show you what God's righteousness is in a second. Yeah. We go and establish our own righteousness based on what's in their heart. Read. Have not submitted themselves. They have not what? Submitted themselves. To what? Unto the righteousness of God. We have not submitted ourselves unto the righteousness of God. Lord. So now let's get what God's righteousness is. And see what we're ignorant of as a people. And to see why we're in the conditions that we're in today. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. Right? Yeah. And it shall be our righteousness. It, says, it shall be our righteousness. Right? It's going to show us what God's righteousness is that our people are ignorant towards. Read. If we observe to do all these commandments, if we observe to do all the commandments, read, before the Lord our God, uh -huh. as he has commanded us, as he has commanded us. So God's righteousness that our people are ignorant of is his law, statutes, and commandments. <laughs> yeah. from happening. Understand? All right. Maybe you don't understand me. Let me ask you a question. Give me a problem in our community today. What's a problem that our people get in the hip-hop summits and our, all the leaders of our community come together saying that we must stop? We don't work together. We don't work together. Go ahead. Drugs. That's a problem. I don't, I don't think drugs is a problem. I think 
Oh, you don't? I, I, well, the violence. I don't think it's a problem. You say, brother, the violence. the violence in our community, right? The violence in our community. But that's because we don't work together. Why don't we work together? Because we're okay. ignorant to the knowledge of God. No, right. Let's go listen. He said God's law is his, un is his unrighteousness, right? Let's get the laws then to show. And if our people, I want you to answer it. If our people follow this law, would that fix the problems in our community? You okay. know? So what's the first one you said? You said we don't work together, right? Get that. Um, that's Let's get that. Because God commanded us to do something while in the state that we're in. Because he has us serving our oppressors for a reason. He brought us over here on slave ships for a reason. You understand that? Watch. I'm going to show you. Got that? That's my Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. We do work together as a people. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American people. The problem in our community is that we don't work together. Read. <laughs> Gather yourselves together. What is God saying? Gather yourselves together. Go ahead. Yay. Gather together, O nation that desire. Right now, what nation of people on this earth are the people that's not desired? Right. And what is God telling them to do? Read again. Read it again. Pay attention. What? Gather yourselves together. And what? Gather yourselves together. God is telling you to work together. Read it That's a law in the Bible. See, hey, read it again. Gather yourselves together. Go ahead. Yay. Gather together, O nation not desired. He's telling the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans that are not desired on this earth. We move into these people's community, and what do they do? They move out. They right. create grocery stores like your Publix and your Whole Foods where a bottle of mayonnaise normally in Walmart is two dollars but because we go there it's two dollars but in their grocery store is what? Five, six, seven dollars. Why? To keep us out of their grocery stores. They do that for a reason. We're the nation not desired. We were commanded to gather ourselves together though. Does that solve one of our problems? Three. Now you said drugs, right? He said drugs, so let's get with another problem, drugs. First of all, what does drugs bring to our community? It brings death. It doesn't matter. Okay, crack, cocaine, heroin, free. All drugs do the same thing. Cigarettes, free. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Go ye not, you are the temple of God. The most like God is saying, and you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you are the temple of God. God's spirit resides and wants to dwell in you. You're God's people. Read. And the spirit of God dwelleth in you. He said the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, you defile the temple of God with what? Drugs. With what? Cigarettes. With what? What else? If you drink too much alcohol and, and, and it destroys your body as well, guess what else destroys your body? Pork, shrimp, lobster, crab, all those things. Yeah, our people love that thing, right? That defiles our temple. Read. Him shall God destroy. God is going to destroy us if we defile our temple. Hence the reason why you see somebody smoking crack. They might, they might have been the most beautiful woman on the world. A month later, what does that woman look like that's smoking that crack pipe? What happens to your body when you continuously smoke cigarettes? What happens to your, your sons and daughters' body or people around you when you smoke cigarettes in that same house? Secondhand smoke. What happens to your people when they eat shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster? You don't know. You don't think, do we know? We don't eat pork or shrimp, lobster. Does God tell us not to do that thing? One little shrimp. That more calories than like a big old steak. No. But then we have high blood pressure, gout, and diabetes. And we say that that, that runs in the family line. Oh, no, your mother had it, so you don't have it. No, your mother had bad eating habits, and now you have it. Hence the reason why you have those same illnesses. No. It does not pass down. Let's show God's laws again. Because God said he's going to destroy us if we defile the temple of God. Right. That's what we bring it out here. But we come out here and people want to contend against the Bible. Right. Oh, y'all brothers yeah. teaching the Bible. Don't teach out of that book. This book is what's going to help our people. Right. This is the answer to the problems in our community. Right. 
and the alcohol and the, and the excessive smoking that's in our community and the effect that it has on our people and on our bodies, right? But now, we're going over the temple of God because we are the temple of God, right? Verse 19, watch this. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Right, so he says, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. We know the Holy Ghost as the laws, the word of God. Your body is what it's supposed to hold that thing. Right? That's the spirit of God that wants to dwell in us. Read. Which is in you. Uh-huh. Which ye have of God. Go ahead. And ye are not your own. We're not our own. Understand that we get this body from God. For his for his spirit to reside in. Read. For ye are brought with a price. Uh-huh. That price is Christ dying on the cross for us. He gave up his precious son to be brutalized, to be tortured, to be embarrassed, to be ridiculed for our salvation today. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Verse 15. Know ye not that your body are the members of Christ. Right, so our body is the members of Christ, right? Read. Shall I then take the members of Christ uh -huh. and make them the members of an harlot? Guess what? When we deal with when we deal with harlots, prostitutes, or unclean women, we're defiling our temple. God's laws tells us not to do that thing. You understand? God forbid! Uh -huh. He says, God forbid. No, we're not supposed to just sleep around with other men and women. Um, how you call it? Fluently. We're not supposed to do that thing. Read. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? He that is joined into a harlot is one body now. You defiled your temple to the point where now you drop yourself down to that base and lower state as that other person. You understand that? That is what we cannot have in our community. That's what leads to STDs. That's what leads to teenage um, pregnancy. 
that's what leads to the high abortion rate in our community. Right. Our people want these, they want to solve these problems, but we don't want the book that has the answers. Right. The book that was written for us. That's right. God's laws was given to the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Get that right. Right. And only us. That's what makes us holy. By us not doing his laws, that's why we're at the bottom of society now. But, and we resigned to a hip-hop summit to find out what our culture is. When our culture goes deeper than hip-hop. Our culture goes deeper than slavery. You understand that, Reed? Psalm chapter 147 and verse 19. But hey, he showed his word unto Jacob. He showed, I mean, look at our brothers, man. Look at the state of our people with their pants under their behinds. Is that righteous? Is that show? Is that show? Does that teach a lesson of righteousness to our people? Look at our sisters addressing out here, man. What does that lead to? The defiling of our temple, sleeping around on one another. Read. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and judgment unto Israel. He had not done so with any nation. The Most High God did not deal with any other nation when it comes to His word. When it comes to his law, when it comes to the breath of life that he breathes in our people so that we can rise up and live. Breaking news tonight. There has been a staggering number of black and Latino teens. A 12-year-old black boy was shot and killed outside. A young black woman who was arrested for a traffic violation was found hanging in Just three days after the police took place in her in the aftermath was aired on live on Facebook. Wake up, Israel. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Israel, welcome home. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth.
So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.